you can communicate and you don't lock your keys in the car. Big, big, big deal. Okay. Moving on to a few more things that we learned. Cooling systems. I'm going to name some parts and you tell me which one I forgot. Ready? Fan shroud, fan, radiator, coolant, belts, water pump, hoses, water jackets, freeze plugs, uh, heater core, heater core control valve, um, belts. What did I miss? I said freeze plugs. I said, uh, I did, I missed radiator cap. Good for you on that. I missed one more thing. Radiator. No, I did say radiator. Thermostat. Aha. So, you see what I missed? Okay. So, keep that in mind, guys. That's how the test is going to go. Now, the water pump pumps the water. The water jackets cool the cylinders around the pistons. The uh, hoses direct the flow of coolant from the engine to the radiator. The radiator cools. The radiator cools. It's a heat exchanger. The coolant and returns it back to the engine, all cooled and ready to go. The shroud keeps you from getting hurt. Plus, it funnels the engine or the air in a more laser-like way to get to the engine block. It doesn't scatter throughout the whole engine compartment. So it helps speed up the air. It forces the air to speed up and concentrate on the engine itself. That's what the shroud does. The fan can be electric or mechanical or hydraulic. There's all kinds of cooling fans. He, okay? If my car's overheating, is it a good idea to turn on the heater? Because there's another radiator in there, isn't there? Okay. Okay, so on the coolant, how do I mix it? What's the ratio? 50-50 gives me 50 below zero on full strength coolant. Why do I use distilled water? Typically, minerals cause a lot of calcification deposits inside the water jacket. They corrode things. Okay, Okay, moving uh, out to here. Um, what does a differential connect to? Well, it connects to the drive shaft, correct? But what's it a part of? You got the differential that hooks to the axle. It's an axle. It's part of the axle assembly, right? That's what the differential does. Okay, you got a ring and a pinion gear inside the differential. What does a CV joint stand for? Constant velocity, Constant velocity is correct. Okay. Uh, we know the belt housing houses torque converter and clutches. Clutch is a what type of transmission? Manual. Manual. A torque converter is hooked to a automatic. Okay. Then from the bell housing to the transmission, multiplies torque. From the transmission to the transfer case on a four-wheel, two-wheel drive. Transfer case transfers power to the front and rear axles. Is everybody with me on that? All right. Uh, a couple other things I want to talk about. Uh, on the lower control arm, you know what the control arm is? That's where the ball joint's hooked to. And an upper control arm, you better know that. Ball joint's hooked to a control arm. Okay, if I were to pull a car in for an oil change, what would I do first? Pull out my oil, my tools, and my manual, or check the old oil after letting it sit for 10 minutes? Check the old oil. Check the old oil. You kind of got the, the steps all figured out, don't you guys? Okay, uh, I want to make sure you guys are ready for this test. I want to make sure you get a good grade on this test because it's important that you do. Uh, hold on just a minute. Okay, ball joints and tie rods, we're good at that. Back of pinion versus the steering box, you're good at that too as well. Okay. Uh, I think we are pretty much done with this. Torque converter, we got that. Okay. Charging system, I think we're good there. Alright. Now, checking a coolant system, we do what test? Well, we check for freeze point, don't we? Right? We check for total alkalinity or how acidic the water is. Correct? We 
check the pH as well for acidity, and we check the boiling point, and we pressure test, right? Okay, so those are the, some of the checks on the cooling system. Battery, we check the battery, we can check the cells individually. Remember we dropped the voltmeter into the cell? Remember that? Okay, and uh, from there we can check the connections as well. Okay, so what I'm saying in short is this test is, you should have, we've got four reviews on YouTube. Tomorrow's the test. If you don't bring a pen that is blue or black, no other color will do, I'll dock, I'll dock 50 points off your grade. So I would recommend that you bring a pen tomorrow to take the test. Okay, can everybody get that? All right, guys, honestly, I think we did good today, don't you? You guys feel okay about this? Okay, uh, let's see who is, who's absent today.